Your weekend homework assignment on our topic was your most awkward doctor experience. <laughs> I think everybody's had uh, at least one. Yeah, like we heard one of Greg's about the STD oh, where God. he had to get the shot and oh. they had to put the Q-tip in the tip of his penis. And, and I had to help her with that. Yeah. Yeah, because they had to collect. Oh my God! A good enough sample, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it just, it, what added to the humor was, <laughs> was her <laughs> thick accent, and I need you to help uh, procure sample. Yeah. And I said, "Is it what you think it is?" Yes, it <laughs> may be gonorrhea. 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 Nice. <laughs> So was that the most awkward doctor experience? There, that would be tied with the one that I think Manis likes. Um, I had to maintain my health insurance, so you had to get an annual checkup, and I didn't have a GP. So I just looked one up and made an appointment for a physical, mm-hmm. so the guy knew nothing about me, nothing. Just asking the standard questions while doing the stethoscope on my chest. Is this the one you like? Yes, I absolutely love it. <laughs> so he's like, deep breath in, deep breath out. Okay, so how old are you? Question, you know, answer that. How much do you say you drink? Breathe in, breathe out. Do you get much exercise? Answer that. Breathe in, breathe out. And then he's checking the back and then the front again. And and then out of the clear blue, he take a deep breath. Are you gay? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It was the weirdest timing. <laughs> like, you think that would just be part of... What did you hear in there, Doc? Of the, and I think I said that. I'm like, why? What do you... Is, did you hear ABBA or something? <laughs> well, maybe he's just like, uh... It was, do you want to date a doctor? Funny. It was he's so... Fishing. The timing... I mean, that should be like on a sitcom. Like, Are you yes. gay? Deep oh, breath. Sure. Uh, long pause. Are you gay? Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> so what was his excuse for why he had asked that? I don't remember... It was so like long. for donating blood or something? Or? I good question. Yeah. I guess yeah. they just want to know your <laughs> life. <laughs> uh, Ravi, most awkward doctor experience. Well, look, I will only go to female gynecologists because Hot. I went to a male gynecologist when I was quite younger, and that just does not work for me. Like, you need to relax at the gynecologist, right? You know, they need to get the pap smear. They and it was just like so intense. Just having this guy saying, you need to relax. I need you to relax. <laughs> he said that maybe like 10 times. I'm like, I can't relax. <laughs> Is it just because he was a guy or was he also I, attractive? Yeah. And how hot was he? Don't recall him being particularly hot, <laughs> but I can't do it. It was like awkward and awful. That was like a one and done. Only women gynos from now on. Really? Yeah. Would you yeah. rather have a hot doctor or old gross guy? Old gross guy. Probably. <laughs> Just for not with their so. Oh yeah, I get yeah. that. Right. Like somebody said, uh, but no, no more. Only women. Somebody said on the text, because one of my it sucked. Awkward doctor's appointments when I went to go get my vasectomy. There were a bunch of hot girls working there. Uh oh. And not only working there, but it was also cold where I got the procedure done. It made my pee pee look smaller than it already <laughs> oh, is. Oh yeah. Oh no. Shrinkage. Yeah, you're yeah. not going to be rotted up when that stuff's going on. Oh, yeah. No, it's gonna be no, as no as way. It gets. Yep. Yeah, uh, menace. Fluffing. Well, the one that just recently with me with uh, the kidney stone surgery. It had about six people in the room, and then they just like they undo your blouse, <laughs> your blouse, <laughs> your blouse. <laughs> and then you're you're whole, you're completely naked, yeah. and you're talking to them while right. you're naked. Like the drugs haven't kicked in yet, and I said like on a scale of you know one to ten, or like in the top ten surgeries, is this like one of the most embarrassing ones? Yeah. But they said no. They go, it doesn't even cr- crack the top twenty because you you didn't actually. Put something inside you ah, that we have to take out. Uh, that makes sense. Right. That, makes sense. Yeah. You know, that is way more embarrassing. Yeah, I'm than sure. What's happening right now? I go. Yeah. Well, it's pretty embarrassing to me. Yeah. They to be give you naked in for, front of all you. I'm nude. What the pregnant yeah. women get, where they put that the, the, the curtain that covers like below your <laughs> waist. Right. Right. So you, you, they don't have to see above well, your waist. You don't have to see, yeah. Yeah. see them. The previous surgery. I was taking the drugs, and then they disrobed me. But this one, they made me <laughs> disrobe in front of everybody. Yeah. And then, so for a couple of minutes, I was still awake. All right, most awkward doctor <laughs> experience is from the After Hours voicemail is left over the weekend. Hi there. My name's Molly. I had colon cancer at 27, and I had to go get an endectomy. Endoscopy. Endectomy. Endoscopy. 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 There we go. Mm. An endoscopy is like a colonoscopy, except I have no colon. So it's just sticking a camera up your butt. So while I'm doing this, I'm not under, and it is hurting like nothing else. My 
doctor who must have been the oldest rectal doctor <laughs> in the country. He asks me my ethnicity and asks me if I'm half Russian or Eastern European or whatnot. And I am. It turns out he has seen so many buttholes that he knows some <laughs> ethnicities by feeling buttholes. So for females wow. out of all ethnicities, Russian females have the highest muscle mass in their butts. Nice. That's including their rectum, their gluteus maximus. And for males, it is Brazilians. This guy had felt so many buttholes in his career <laughs> that he was able to guess my ethnicity and that is my awkward doctor story. Wow. No way. So weird. That's pretty good. It's like the guy who guesses your weight at the fair. Yeah, it's yeah. a good talent. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I can guess your ethnicity by looking by at your butthole. looking at your Whoa. anus. <laughs> it, it makes sense because, you know, like things yeah. like hair and nose, yeah. eye color, sure. all that okay. stuff. Okay. You should all have right. a TV show.